Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, we're gonna be doing some sourcing. We're gonna hit up a couple Goodwills. We're gonna hit up a Salvation Army and maybe one more. I'm thinking about another thrift store that I know of. We're only gonna be hitting about four. It's just myself today. Right now, Heather is in Florida and I am by myself. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can hit up a couple Goodwills and see what we can find to uh, resell. And uh, yeah, see if we can make some extra money. Here we go. All right, guys, what is going on? We are back at the house. Hey, buddy, go lay down. I had a pretty awesome day at the thrift stores. A couple of them weren't so good and a couple of them were pretty awesome. Actually, I gotta say that there was one store, I went to a Salvation Army and I was able to load up on some shoes. I got some amazing deals on shoes. I never find shoes. This is my first day. Honestly, I wish Heather was here because I loaded up on some really awesome shoe finds. So I didn't record while I was inside these stores only for the fact that I don't have my GoPro stuff set up yet. I'm kind of a little nervous walking in there with the GoPro. We're gonna get there, I promise. We'll do some thrifting. Uh, you'll go with us and you'll see. If I get kicked out, I get kicked out. If not, then oh well, it is what it is. But over here, I got some pretty amazing finds. We're gonna go through it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put some comps on the screen so you can kind of see uh, what I found. I'm super crazy excited about these pairs right here, but we'll go ahead and get to those. We're gonna do those last. And then I got some pretty cool, awesome finds over here too. So I'll talk about that one right there. That is a repurchase that I found those again. Super excited. Let's get right into it and let's see what I came across. We'll go ahead and do the shoes last right here. Listen, I went, as I like to put it, I went Harry Tornado style on the shoes today. I never find shoes. I never buy shoes because they're either really grungy or they're just really expensive. And these shoes were a super good deal for each and every pair. I don't even wanna say that I'm going from best to worst, but maybe, and I didn't mean to really set them up that way, but I think maybe I, I did. I think these should probably be reversed. Yeah, let's reverse them. We're gonna go this way from probably best to worst. So over here, let's start back here. We have a Samsung dual DVD VHS player. These things are actually going pretty good. I forget what the model is. I'll go ahead and maybe like right here, I'll post what the model is, uh, the model number. It does not have a remote and these were kind of comping for somewhere anywhere around $60, $80. I got it at Salvation Army for $14.99. Tested it out. It works. Everything seems to work fine on it. I was able to plug it in. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the TV and I'll test all the functions. I'll get all this tape off and everything and I'll clean all this little goop. I don't even know what, maybe somebody couldn't see good enough and they wanted to put the markings like do that first, DVD control, I don't know. So that's that. Uh, so that's a pretty cool find right there. Coming over here, this was another cool find from the Salvation Army. This is a food saver version 2840 for 10.99 i couldn't pass up the deal this is uh, this is when they put it out i believe this is the date today's the 14th so it sat out there for two days i think the problem with this one is if you open it up the seal is missing right here this is the actual seal you put your bag over it this heats you put your bag here it seals and then you pull it over this way and you cut it and you're good to go. And it's also missing the top seal. But I went ahead and I, I mean, I wasn't even in the parking lot and I ordered new seals for this and they were $6.99. I think I paid $7.40 for a new set of seals. So when that comes in on Sunday, I'll definitely test it out because I actually over there in that drawer right there, I have food saver bags right here. I already have a food saver of my own. I think I actually did a YouTube video on this uh, when I did my bacon video. So I went ahead and I ordered new seals for this. We'll test it out because I want it, when I send this out, I want it to be in working condition. I don't wanna say for parts, might work. I wanna make sure that this thing works, you know, really well. So I went ahead and I ordered new seals. And right here, or here maybe, let's do it right here. I'll show you what I paid for those seals on Amazon and I should get them in two days. All right, this one I forgot that 
Heather actually purchased the other day. This is a DeWalt drill with a charger. Uh, let's see, let's move this and let's move that. Come over here. She only paid $6.99 for this right here. Open it up, check it out, maybe. There it is right there. I went ahead and already charged it. Comes with the manual. It's a little beat up. It's nothing great. I'm not gonna make a ton of money on this, but it works perfect. So the battery and the charger alone might be probably worth the sale in itself. So this right here, I don't know. I might list for like 25 bucks or something like that, plus shipping, nothing crazy. But yeah, that was a pretty cool find from her. I'll probably clean up the case a little bit, uh, hose it down, let it dry out, air dry or something along that lines. Uh, let's put it down here. Is that okay? Then over here, we actually have some paintable solutions that I got for $2 a piece. And this is actually the second time that I found these. I actually had a six, I actually had six of these at one time. I sold them, I think they were like 70 or 60 something dollars. What I'll do is I'll put right here, I'll put what, this was actually my sale right here of these. I, I, I don't know, they're, they're pretty hard to come by and, I, and they're really expensive. Look, 22 bucks each and I found them for $2. So they were like 90% off. I mean, I'm not gonna sell them at full retail for $22, $29. I'll probably sell them for like 10 bucks a piece and maybe sell and, and sell them as a lot because you're gonna sell all of these at one time. So 40 bucks, give or take. I sold, I think six of them last time for around 60. Again, maybe like right here, I'll put what my, this was the sale that I did before and they're already gone, I already sold them. So that was a good find finding those again. Now for the shoes, I found some New Balance. Now we're gonna go from worst to best. We got some New Balance 557s over here. I paid $4.99. $4.99 for these shoes. Uh, I found a couple comps on these going for somewhere around the $20 to $25 range plus shipping. So even if you were to charge like $29.99 or something along that lines plus, you know, with free shipping or $34.99 for free shipping. These will clean up really good. There is a little bit of brown, but you know we do live in North Carolina, so there's that red clay. So I, I should be able to clean these up pretty well. I might even go to the store and get some white shoe polish and kind of just really touch these up, but I think that should come off pretty clean, and I should get somewhere around $30 to $35, or even let's just say without shipping, I, I should make about 25 bucks on these. Then coming over here, these are the Nike uh, running shoes. Uh, let's see what uh, they're called. The Downshifter paid $3.99 for these shoes. Really, really good condition. Super, really, super nice condition, honestly. The only downfall is, and I noticed it after, uh, they have these little splatter marks on the side. This is probably something where some mud kicked off. So hopefully I can really scrub this and get that little white, that off. If I can get that off, we should be in good shape. If not, I should be able to clean these up pretty well and still get 20 to $25 for these pair plus shipping. Nothing crazy. Coming over here, these are Nike size 11 men's zooms. I found these, again, we paid $3.99. I can't believe that I found all of these shoes for $3.99. And I, I've seen these going for some crazy, ridiculous money, anywhere from 25 to 50 to uh, brand new, 100 and you know something dollars a pair. These, again, these should clean up super good. These are in really good shape. Look at the bottoms really good condition, but uh, the insides, you know, pretty good condition. The, the, the insoles seem like they're pretty nice still. So we should some, list these somewhere around maybe $30, $35. Nothing, again, nothing too crazy. We'll get that, that listed up. Now Now we're getting to the, the two good pairs right here. These are the Hookah One Ones. These are the first pair of Hookahs that, uh, that I found that are in really good condition. Look at the soles. Really, really nice. I like to scrub the bottoms for photo purposes. I don't like to leave them all grungy, so I'll clean these up and make them look really nice. But the tops are in super, super good condition. I can't believe that I found these. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, I, I'm not too big into shoes yet, but again, watching Harry Tornado's channel, he buys shoes like it's going out of style. You gotta follow him. You gotta go to his channel and check it out. You will learn so much. I've learned so much especially in the shoe world, because I probably would have never started looking for shoes unless it was for him. So Harry, I guess if you're watching this video, thank you so much for uh, all the you know good information. Now these guys right here, these are pretty awesome. I can't believe it. Look at this, 
$8.99. I paid $8.99 for these. They're, they're literally brand new. I mean, check this out. I mean, I can't believe that these New Balance were $8.99. These are the 1540 V3s. Look at the bottoms. They're perfect condition. I could tell they were worn maybe once. Somebody probably wore them, and, and I don't know why, but didn't like them. I don't know what that says right there. Nine W. Oh, nine wides. So these were a nine wide. And, uh, I mean, there's a couple pieces, but I'll take, like, a little toothpick and get all those little rocks out of there. But these are going to be sold as maybe worn one time, something along that lines. But the bottoms and the tops of these are just in perfect, perfect condition. $8.99. So these will list, I don't know, I'm going to probably have to list these somewhere around the $70, $60, $70. These are going to be a little bit more, more because these are in excellent condition. And I only paid, again, $8.99. So I had a pretty good haul today. I think all in all... Uh, I'll add everything up and what my potential sales to what I actually paid. I think that'll be pretty cool. Maybe I'll put that right here. So this is what I paid for everything. And this is pretty much what I'm going to sell everything for. So potential profit. All right. Awesome. All right, everybody. That is it. That is the video. I hope you liked kind of seeing what I came across today. Again, like I said, next time, hopefully next time, I'll go ahead and strap on the GoPro with my uh, little GoPro chest thing that goes right there. I think they're called chesties or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I got that already. I'm ready to go. I've used it before. I've just never used it thrifting or anything like that. Going into other stores, I'm a little nervous because, you know, working retail myself, I know how sometimes people walking in with cameras, eh, I don't know if you're going to get shot down or not. But uh, I know other people do it, and I know it's kind of fun, and it would really be really cool if I could just record. You would actually see me today. I was going to buy a new Keurig machine. It was the Keurig uh, V, I think the K400 version. It was the version 2.0 K400, I think is what it was called. And the funny thing is, let me come over here to my Keurig, my Keurig and I'm going to show you real quick. My Keurig, we use it all the time. And the Keurig that I saw at Goodwill, this was brand new. Like it was still taped up with the, with the tape on it, but the Keurig itself was used. And unfortunately it was $22.99 and the carafe that the thing comes with was priced individually. So total, it was gonna be like $30. I almost bought it for myself, but I ended up not buying it at all. But anyways, uh, <laughs> if I would have had that chesty on, you would have seen, I actually dropped it. I dropped the, the, the plastic side. I mean, it literally hit the ground. I looked over, everybody was kind of looking at me because it was loud, it made a big loud boom. You would've, I would've caught that on camera and it was like, ugh, it was a little embarrassing, but it didn't break. I mean, honestly, I checked it over because I probably would've paid for it if I broke it. Uh, I mean, it would if it would've shattered or something, I would've felt terrible and spent the 20 bucks and maybe like used mine if it would've fit or something. But uh, yeah, it, it, it was just crazy that, uh, you know, the thing, is, I mean, it was like up here and it just hit the ground and didn't break. But anyway, enough rambling on. Again, we're going to go ahead and get that, uh, do some, some really cool videos coming up. But I hope you like this video. If you have not subscribed, go down and hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. If you like this video, make sure you hit the bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. And until the next video, make sure you all do one thing. Stay awesome and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.